So we're dealing with G in the slum, you know, you have to pray so many times fast to read the Bible. But what about things like how you dress and if you can drink alcohol, your relationship with the opposite sex, all these things which aren't really specified in the Bible. And once the, the uh, rules and the pressure is taken off of the outside, people might not know what to do. Frankly, for example, I work a lot with students on the universities, and what we see, especially with the guys, the girls are still more under wraps, but a lot of the Middle Eastern guys come to America and they go crazy because in the Middle East they have all this family and cultural pressure of things they shouldn't do, usually in the moral arena, but when they come to America they feel like, oh, I can do what I want now. So how do we keep new believers um, being circumscript or, or paying attention to what they should do in areas where they have freedom as far as liberty, about eating pork, drinking alcohol, dressing more Western. We are looking at clothes, we're shopping here, and this brings up an issue that we discuss, which is what is appropriate kind of clothing for Christians to wear. And you know, a lot of things there. Hey, Ahuda, show me something with uh, like little straps or really low cut that uh, we that are the styles now. I pull that dress out. See, there's just yeah, there's just not much on the top of that dress. Hmm. Now show me something that's kind of modest looking. That's a little bit uh, low cut too. We'd have to try that on, but I think that's going to be low cut. It's difficult with the styles in America now. That one has a that one has a collar and short sleeves, so in America that would probably work for most occasions in the summer. The Bible is very clear about principles of life. The Bible is not about rules. There are rules in the Bible. And the rules in the Old Testament have disappointed people because they tried to obey God, tried to do all these things, found themselves failing. And that's the point. That's why Jesus came. Because He gives us His power to follow principles, not rules. For example, uh, we don't have a rule that you cannot drink. But that does not mean you drink all you want or all your body can take. Uh, the Bible tells us to not be drunk, although you can drink. So there's a rule there, do not be drunk. But the principle is you have freedom. And use your freedom not as an opportunity to let your body want whatever it wants, the desires of the flesh, whether it's sexual or whether up in sex or drinking or any other passions. The Bible says that we have freedom, but don't use the freedom to for licenses, meaning like liberty to do whatever you want. And the principle, the main principle is love. Principle of love. For example, if you're dressed in a way that hurts somebody else, you have the freedom, but you have violated the, the, the principle of love. Love others, because you want to be also useful for others. You need to help other people live the Christian life. So don't be seductive. Don't do things that would hurt other people. Uh, but also in terms of dress and jewelry and so on, the Bible does talk about not being too fancy or too... Uh, worldly, you know, just to get yourself so wrapped up in your beauty and your jewelry and your clothes that you forget who you really are, the person. Sometimes uh, the externals can cover the internals. Don't let the externals cover the internals. Let the internals flow out of you. The real person in you, the spiritual uh, man and woman that God looks at and pleases. Because the Bible says, man looks on the outside, but God looks on the inside. 
and al husn al ghish wal jamal al it says beauty can be deceptive but the woman who who trusts the lord who gives her life to the lord is the one that is praised by god so as a principle we should focus on what's inside and not outside god looks at the inside but uh, one of the things that I use as a guideline is maybe for a culture, say Western culture, where former Muslims are in the United States or the West and they have become Christians, I will often say to them, try to use as a guideline dressing like a conservative person in the West. In other words, not pushing the limits of fashion, not looking at everything that's out there on the street, because now we see very skimpy tops, low-cut clothes, mini skirts, um, lots of clothing that is shocking in some ways. And, and I know, okay, maybe I'm a little too easily shocked now because I've spent so much time with Muslims. But what do you think about that guideline of dressing on the conservative side of Western culture? We're not saying you still have to dress like an American, but... What do you think of that? Would that be a, an acceptable guideline? You said it perfectly. I can add to it. I just want to encourage okay. people to think about their image also. Mm -hmm. We Good can point. say, you know, I don't care what people think about me. That's not right. That's not loving. That's not caring. you got to think of what others think. And you need to be a model of a, of a good Christian decent. decent. The Bible talks about decency doesn't give you the measurement of your skirt or your, or your shirt. It's not all about women also. Men can also dress in ways that are not appropriate. So uh, you need to think about other people in a way that would not cause them to stumble. The Bible is very clear about this. Uh, Jesus even said, uh, it's better for you to be drowned in the sea than to cause someone to be stumbled. And I think that is a problem that, that we work with, with Muslim women that are still in Islam, and it's not an easy one. It's like, well, you know, if a man even sees my hand, he's offended. So I, I know Yemeni women that wear gloves. So I think that there's a boundary between how easily a man stumbles and how much freedom a woman has, which we could talk about at another time. Somebody but I think recently, that you're saying in general here, our principles should be, we try not to make people stumble. We try to be a good reflection of Christ because we are to grow mm -hmm. in His image. Right. And we should be seen as conservative for the culture and not dress too flashy to or focus on our physical too much. Is that right. pretty much a summary of what you shared with That's us? That's true, here? and I want to add one thing. Someone okay. recently told me, if you dress sexy, you'll receive sex. Hmm. But if you dress lovely, you'll get love. Ah. And uh, this is a That's principle. Nice. It's a principle that Lovely does not mean you have to show your whole body. You can actually uh, have good fashion, good clothing, nice clothing. It's more attractive than the skin on your, on your body. So uh, I hope this is helpful. So thank you very much, Pastor George, and I'm so glad you were with us here today on Questions Muslims Ask.